Welcome back to my channel Sign Orange Transfer. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go back and subscribe. Today in this video, we are going to study about the divisions in the plant kingdom and the type of sexual life cycles in the plant kingdom. This kingdom includes multicellular eukaryotic and photosynthetic organisms. They are broadly classified into cryptogamy and phenologamy. First we shall study about sexual plant life cycle then we shall move on to its divisions. There are three distinct versions of generalized sexual life cycles in the plant kingdom. The first one is haplontic life cycle where there is an haploid organism and it gives rise to male and female gametes those are also haploid and due to fertilization zygote is formed which is a diploid one and zygote undergo meiosis to produce zoospores which are haploid due to meiosis and zoospores germinate to form haploid organism. The second one is diplontic life cycle. Here there is a diploid organism and it produces male and female gametes due to meiosis which are haploid and due to fertilization this gives rise to zygote which is diploid and zygote germinate to produce diploid organism. And the last one is haplodiplontic life cycle. In this there is a diploid organism and that undergo meiosis to produce haploid spores. These haploid spores germinate and grow by mitosis into multicellular gametophyte which is haploid. These gametophyte produce male and female gametes by mitosis and these gametes fertilize to form zygote which is diploid and zygote germinate to form a new organism. And that's it about the sexual life cycle in the plant kingdom. Now let us study about the division in the plant kingdom. Plant kingdom is mainly divided into two divisions, cryptogamy and phenologamy. Cryptogamy means the plant without seeds and phenologamy is the plant with seeds. Cryptogamy is subdivided into algae, bryophytes and pteridophytes whereas phenologamy is subdivided into gymnosperms and angiosperms. Let's study one by one. The first one is algae. These are chlorophyll bearing non-vascular non-embryophytic plants. They mainly include three groups green algae, red algae and brown algae and these three groups are classified by the following characters. Primary photosynthetic pigments, storage products, cellular composition and type and location of flagellas. Common examples are Warwax, Polysiphonia, and Dictyota. And the next one is Bryophytes. These are also called as amphibians of the plant kingdom since they require both land and water for the completion of their life cycle. This plant also possess rhizoids for the attachment for, to their substratum. Bryophytes get their nutrition from dust, rainwater, and substance dissolved in water at the soil surface. The male sex organ is called antheridia and female sex organ is called archegonia and the fertilization takes place in water. Common example for bryophytes are mosses and richia. And the last one in cryptogamy are pteridophytes. These are serious vascular plants. They possess stomata to allow gaseous exchange for photosynthesis. They produce chlorophylls A, B, carotenoid, starch and cellulose. The eggs are produced in archegonia and sperms are produced in antheridia. The flagellated sperm swim through the water to fertilize the eggs. Common examples are silverfern and azora pinnata. And the next one is gymnosperms. These are vascular seeded plants. These are also called as naked seeded plants. Since 
the ovules are not covered by the ovary wall and remain exposed both before and after fertilization. These are mostly terrestrial plants and gymnosperms have non-flagellated sperms. Most common example is cycas. And the last one is angiosperms. These are also called as flowering plants since they produce flowers. These are also vascular plants and the pollination is indirect. Double fertilization characteristically occurs in angiosperms to produce embryo as well as endosperm. The endosperm interestingly is neither haploid nor diploid but it's a triploid and forms after fertilization. Common examples are hibiscus, rose and etc. And that's it for today. Please like Comment, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel Sign Knowledge Transfer. Signing off.